Right, the next maths question I want to tackle is a calculus question and using a function that has a square root function in it. So if my function is a square root of x times x plus 2, I would like you to find what f dashed of a quarter would equal to. Okay? Where do we start? Do we find f of a quarter first, or do we find f of dashed first? Right, this dash is what's important. That is our priority to go and find f dashed first, because this is a function with respect to f dashed. So f of x is in the format of a product. And a product certainly has a product rule. And for those of you in grade 12, next year you will do the product rule when, when, you, get, when you leave matric. But for now, we will have to multiply out and get all our terms individually. So this would be x to the half multiplied by x plus 2. So I'm simplifying the function into a version that is differentiable. Okay? From there, I keep multiplying. So I've got x to the half that I need to multiply by the x and x to the half that I need to multiply by the 2. What is x to the half times x? Well, same base, keep the base, that's the power of 1, so I'm going to add my exponents 1 and a half will give me 3 over 2, plus 2x to the half. So when differentiating a function, we need to get it into a format that can be differentiated, where each term is written individually. Right, so now I'm ready to find f dashed x. And the rule is to take the exponent, multiply it by the coefficient, which in this case is 1. That becomes 3 over 2 times x, and my exponent will reduce by 1. So 3 over 2 minus 1 is just a half, plus 2 times a half, and then we don't actually need to write this, we can do it in our heads. So... 2 times a half is 1, and then x, a half minus 1 is minus a half. Right, there's our derivative function. Once we've got our derivative function, we can now find a specific value of that derivative. We needed f of a quarter. So let's look at what this looks like. 3 over 2 multiplied by a quarter raised to the half plus a quarter raised to the negative a half. Great. What is a quarter to the half? A quarter to the half is the square root of a quarter, and the square root of a quarter is a half. Plus, a quarter to the half is also the square root of a quarter, which is a half, but we haven't yet raised it to the negative 1, so I must still keep my negative 1. Right, further simplification gives us 3 quarters, and a half to the negative 1 is plus 2, so our function, our derivative function value of a quarter will be 2 and 3 quarters. Right, just tidying that up and finishing off there. Okay, hope you enjoyed that calculus snippet. And <laughs>